What's going on guys? My name is Gray and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to earn $100,000 in just under 2 minutes. It is super, super easy to do and every single person watching this will be able to do it and I will explain more of that later. But like I said, we are going to be utilizing a very unique glitch in the game because it's sort of a glitch, it's sort of not a glitch, but at the same time, it doesn't work how the game's supposed to work. So. We're just going to take full advantage of it. So if you guys are excited for this video, please do me a favor and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. With that said, we are going to hop into it. So you guys want to make your way to this location on the map. And we're going to be using a time trial. Now, if you are a high enough level to actually have this time trial unlocked, then this is the best one to do it on. If you guys do not have it unlocked, then you can go do it on other time trials and it will work just the same. You guys just won't make as much money. But... I will have some videos teaching you how to get to max rep and get unlimited rep down in the description for you guys to go check them out or probably throughout the video on the cards. So you want to come to this time trial over here and it is a thread the needle. This is the location on the map. It's just kind of, it's in the middle of Fairview Fields. Like it's the only thing. Actually, is it the only race in Fairview Fields? It might be. Okay. so. This is the time trial we are going to be using, and you guys can see the bank reward is $42,584 for completing this. However, we are going to be making more money than that actually says, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. First, before we get into it, I have to make sure everybody understands the method that we're going to be using, because if you don't, then it will not work. So if you see on the left-hand side of your screen on the little leaderboard that it has popped up, the time that I have set is a minute, 28 seconds, 0.82, okay? I have to beat that time, but not my rival's time. So my rival's time is a minute and five seconds. I want to stay just below my time. So the time that I'm gonna try to get when I go and do this time trial is going to be like a minute and 27 seconds. That way, it gives me the most time possible. I will go into that later on, on why that is so important, but I just want everybody to see exactly what I'm going to be doing right here. The time I have to beat is a minute 28.82. So we're going to start this up. You guys do not need a 400 plus car in order to complete this. It, I think the, the level of car was 330, so it isn't that bad if you aren't a super high level or max level, you still will be able to do this. But like I said, it does work on every single time trial. But when you guys are doing it with the other time trials, you just won't make as much money because this one is the highest paying out. But again, it still does work. And I'll explain everything you guys need to know for how to do it on any time trial. So what you guys want to do is just go through the time trial, whichever one you end up doing. And it doesn't matter if you're like driving the best or not, you just have to go and beat your personal time, not the rival's time. So my personal time to beat is a minute 28.8. .8. So I have to go finish the time trial, but right before I finish the time trial, stop at the finish line. What that does is allows us to get more time doing this and get as close to your target time as possible. You want to finish the race right before your target time so like I said it is a minute 28 for me to complete mine so you can see I completed the entire track in like a minute but now I'm going to sit here and wait until I'm gonna sit here and wait until the time actually gets to a minute 27 so I'm just gonna wait here for another 10 seconds and the reason that we are sitting here and waiting is so that the closer we get to our marked time the more attempts we will have at doing this and the more time you'll actually have to complete this. So right here, as it gets to 127, I'm gonna complete it. So I just beat my time by one second exactly. So what that means is now I have more space to actually complete this time trial and do it again. So you guys saw at the beginning, the bank reward was 45,000, but because I beat myself and lost to the enemy I actually made 55,000 so I made more money losing than I would have made for winning so that is what I'm talking about with the glitch while doing this that just doesn't seem right like that why would the game developers be like oh yeah so you make more money if you lose so clearly something is off right there but we are just going to be taking full advantage of that so all you want to do is just make your way back to the time trial and again it only takes like 
30 seconds to get back over there and you can just keep repeating this process so what i mean by that is next time when you go back over to the time trial you will see that your time is has now decreased but only by a little bit that's why it is very important for you guys to make sure you cut down the time just a tiny bit every single time so the reason I drove back over to the time trial right here is to show you guys that the bank reward is the exact same as you can see right here. It is 42,000 again, but if you guys are using the method that I just showed you, then you're going to be making even more than that. Like you saw, I made 55,000 for completing it. So now that you guys see my time on the left is a minute 27.89. That is the new time I have to go beat. So disregard your rival's time completely don't focus on it at all only focus on yourself you need to make sure that you beat your time by as little time possible so i'm going to go do it again and show you guys exactly what i mean just chunk it down a little bit and then i'm going to show you how to do this even faster to save yourself even more time and then literally do this in like a minute and 30 seconds so i'm going to go complete the time trial again remember the time that you have to beat is your new personal record not the rival so now I have to get up below a time of a minute 27.8 something. So that's not that hard to do at all. Like I said, you don't have to be the best racer to complete this. I, although I am doing this pretty flawlessly. But like, look, I can smash into all these barriers. It really doesn't matter. I just have to make sure I go and beat my personal time. And that is why I stressed it a lot in the beginning that you needed to actually beat your time by as little as possible because if you beat it by as little as possible you give yourself the most time to go and repeat this and do it over and over again so this does work on any time trial in the game you can do it for whichever one but if you are doing a time trial for the first time you have to make sure you actually beat the time that is listed so if it is your first attempt on your on a time trial that means it's new to you you have never done it before you have to actually beat the time that it says your rival has but only beat it by like a second or half a second like you see me doing here then once you go back that will be your new time that you set and then you're going to go and attempt to beat that time by as little as possible and just keep repeating it that way so you guys can see here that the time is running out I just beat my time I beat my time by 0.4 seconds and you guys are gonna see here again I'm going to be making 55,000 for completing this and losing the race you can see there it said winner but now you guys see right there I got 55,825 but once you guys beat the race hit Y on your controller or if you're on PS4 hit triangle what that does is it restarts the event the reason I didn't do that the first time was to show you guys that the bank reward was the exact same and that it doesn't change when you guys are doing this. But if once you go and complete it, you'll actually save yourself a ton of time by hitting Y or triangle on your controller and you'll be able to go and restart this and do it again. This saves you the travel time for coming back to the time trial so you can just keep repeating it and this will make it a whole lot faster because you don't have to spend the time driving here. Even though it only takes like 50 seconds to drive back to the start, that's still 50 seconds saved. And then, you know, I'm now using those 50 seconds to go and do the time trial again and get the same amount of money, which again is 55,000 because we are losing to ourselves instead of actually beating the race using this money glitch. So I think the level you have to be to unlock your first time trial is like level five. I could be wrong but with that, but it doesn't take too long to actually unlock your first time trial. And once you guys have it, make sure you just keep following the steps that I laid out for you guys in this video. Just make sure that you beat your own time, or if it's the first time you're doing it, you beat the time by a little bit, and then you just go and keep beating your own time by as little as possible. So you guys can see here, it is super, super easy to do as long as you follow every single step of what I laid out for you every time matters because if you end up losing to your own time then you're not going to be making the money you'll actually just make nothing and then you just wasted your time so you want to make sure that you go and beat your time just by a tiny bit like you see me do there once again and now you can go and get more than the bank reward actually is going to give you guys so this does work in a online 
or offline session. I am currently in a solo session, but you could do this online if you wanted to. However, you don't need Xbox Live or PS Plus to do this at all. You could just go into solo, like I'm completely alone. You can do it and just keep making money. Now you guys didn't see it popped up on my account because I have 1.1 billion and I would need to surpass a hundred million dollars in order for it to change. But if you guys just keep repeating the process, it will give you guys 55,000 every single time. But if you guys do not have a thread the needle, then the second best one is actually the one down here. It is called Heights. You can go do this one as well. And that one is also a really great one to do because it says you'll get 38,000, but it'll actually give you like 45,000. However, the one right here, thread the needle, you see the bank award, it still says the same thing, 42,000, but you're actually going to be making 55,000. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and leave a like, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on to all. I'd really appreciate that. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, let me know down in the comment section. Check out the videos you see on your screen now and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.